Well, Seneca is the um, head games maker, so um, uh, his responsibilities include everything from the presentation before the actual games to creating the arena, the virtual arena in which they fight, whatever the landscape will be, whatever the challenges will be there, the weapons that are laid out. He needs to assess all of the tributes that are picked and um, to see what their talents are or their lack of talents. Um, really all in the end to create some form of entertainment, sick entertainment that um, um, that he leads from his game center, which is a virtual center where um, everything can be controlled by him and um, sort of his, uh, his team. I gathered from the books that uh, the arenas take a long time to build, um, that they're not just a process that's put together in the last few days. Um, and so it's a, it's, a, it's a controllable environment that Seneca has, has the complete control over. If uh, he wants to start a fire, like say in the first one, he can start a fire to send the tributes together to fight. If he wants to, he wants to set, set traps, if he wants to um, change the weather, he can make it colder, make it hotter, he can make it more difficult. Because in the end, like he says, he want, we want to see the tribute struggle. We want to see them fight for, for their lives. And uh, the, the way to do that is to have complete control of their, of the, their environment and the, and, the, and the things that they would need to survive. Katniss Everdeen is a, um, she's a girl who grew up in District 12, which is one of the poorest districts, if not the poorest district. Um, lost her father in a, a mining accident and has had to fend for herself and her family ever since and has found ways of doing that from things she was taught. Uh, how to, by having to hunt in the wild outside of uh, District 12, which is um, basically Appalachia. And um, she, in the woods and in the hills there, she's learned how to survive in of sorts. President Snow, um, he's a bit of a mystery because, uh, in, in the first book, because, um, and in the first movie, because he, he's older, he's been around and has, um, you know, He's almost old enough to, to see the, the, how, what, how the Capitol had to pay for the, for the rebellion, how close it came. It's familiar to him. And um, I think Katniss represents a, um, a challenge to him. I think she's a threat to him because she's a reminder of that rebellion. Katniss uh, Everdeen is played by Jennifer Lawrence, uh, who is an uh, amazing young actress um, very talented, very smart girl, very funny girl. Um, you know, um, she, I read this book and, and immediately thought she would be great for the role. She's kind of perfect in my mind because she's, uh, um, she herself is, a uh, she's pretty, she's got a tough edge to her, but that, that tough edge, it's, she's also very, um, there's something very soft and delicate that is there that, uh, um, that you want Katniss to have because, like I said, you want, you want to hope for that to stay um, despite her having to be tough. Donald Sutherland is an amazing, amazing actor, a legend, and I was uh, uh, so lucky to have a couple of scenes with him. And It was great because those scenes were outside of the book and uh, you really got to see what was going on, you know, um, as Katniss is fighting for her life and, and the things that are going on in the games. Gary and uh, um, the casting director, uh, Deborah Zane, who uh, is incredible, has uh, thought of some really, um, really great people to fill out roles that um, maybe they wouldn't uh, always do because on paper they look small, but really, you know, they shine with this writing and um, and with Gary and uh, um, you know I get to do a, a great scene with Stanley Tucci, who I have been a fan of uh, my whole my whole career and before. And uh, he's a great guy. <laughs> he's only he could bring out Caesar. I think when that when I heard that it was perfect. And one of the more uh, special or more unique castings was uh, I thought the idea of Lenny Kravitz as Cinna. And uh, um, you know it's not somebody you maybe would have thought of right away, but you know when I heard that I thought that's perfect. It's a quiet, stylish, cool dude who uh, would be perfect for Cinna. First of all, they should be excited because it's a great story. I think I think the fans who already have read the books know that. Uh, anyone who hasn't read the books, I mean, it, this is an amazing story. Um, an easy story to, uh, to already to get excited about to put to film, but, but beyond that, you've got an amazing team putting together a great film that's a really exciting, 
fast moving film that um you know that is it, 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 at once entertaining as it is um politically sophisticated and uh, moving you know and, and intriguing it's really it's really kind of the perfect storm of a, of a movie right now.